Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. In this video we're just going to go through the unit locations for all of the uh, Deviant Synergy units. Uh, so that's the, uh, the red icon down here below. Uh, and it's all of these units and we'll just go through um, where you can find them all. Now just a caveat, I also do not have a copy of Lysandra. So if we have a look here, as you can see, I'm still missing a copy uh, of Lysandra. Um, so I will still show you where you can find a copy of her, but um, for now I'm just going to focus on uh, the ones that I do have. So if we go into Heroes, and we go into our Deviant Synergy, the first one I'm going to talk about is Makaria. Now Makaria is a very good unit, very powerful, uh, and very uh, required in a lot of the setups that she is in. That includes uh, in her own uh, Valentas team uh, and also in the um, uh, Glorians build where you can add her as an additional Deviant unit as well as getting that third Monarch uh, synergy uh, mate as well. So uh, she is available if we go into Redeem Points. And we go across, I uh, believe she will be in the uh, Yeez Grilled shop here. So if we scroll down, as you can see, um, she is available for 4,000 of these points. I could purchase a copy of her right now, uh, if I so chose to, um, but I already have her up to 12 stars, so I'm going to focus on Talos for now. Um, you are able to get a copy of her here, as well as through the... Uh, summons in the uh, Deviant or Divine uh, Oracle banner. So if you were to summon on this banner, you may potentially get a copy of her. And you can also pick up copies of her through this shop here. So as you can see, she is available right here uh, within the Oracle shop itself. Uh, and then the final place that you can get a copy of her is through the tickets uh, here. So as you can see, if I scroll all the way down, uh, you can get a ticket for a DD unit if you clear Abyss 100 uh, and you will get a copy of really Macaria sure right there if you do select it. Now there are other better units, and I say better, there are other units uh, available that you should be prioritising, uh, probably Karnak uh, in this one. Karnak, um, Talonas, and I would say uh, Ashthusa, uh, potentially Lachesis as well, but Macaria is a solid choice from this ticket uh, as well. So the next unit that we're going to look at is Ashthusa. Um, so Ashthusa, uh, a staple within the Dooms setup uh, and is available again through the Oracle Temple. Uh, you can go into the Oracle Shop. Bear with me. Sorry about that. Just had to uh, check on some uh, live stuff. So um, she is available within this shop. So if we scroll down, um, we can see you can pick up a copy of her right here within the Oracle shop. Uh, now it's not the only place that you can go ahead and pick up a copy um, of Ashthusa. Uh, you can also go into uh, Rift Odyssey and pick up a copy from this ticket. There are no other ways of getting copies of Ashthusa besides going through summoning on the Oracle Temple and also summoning through the Oath Recall as well. Um, you can uh, summon through these uh, and pick up copies of her, but she is not available uh, in any of the other shops, unfortunately. Um, I do think she should be added at some point to the guild shop, or potentially um, the uh, Yee's Grilled shop as well, because um, she is a valuable unit within there. Uh, now I think, bear with me, let me just check. So we're going to rank shop. Yeah, she is also available now within the rank shop. So this is the, the new shop. She's been most recently added uh, to this shop to be able to uh, pick up a copy of her uh, for that 2,000 coins. But I again, I do believe Karnak or the uh, legendary Relic Shard chests uh, would be your best bet for this shop. Um, I think uh, Ashthusa will come uh, separately. Uh, you know, uh, you'll find other ways of obtaining a copy of her. Now, uh, the next unit on the list is Arkdina, uh, and she is, uh, she's relatively useful um, as, uh, through the Avengers team, but I've, I've dropped her quite recently uh, for Nerissa, because Nerissa is a phantom unit. Um, so for me, personally, uh, Arkdina is no longer a priority, uh, and you can pick up a copy of her 
uh, through the Abyss shop as well. So as you can see, I've picked up a copy this month uh, of her using the points that can be obtained uh, through the uh, the Abyss Crusade uh, for ranking quite high within your current uh, setup. So. Um, a good a good pickup I typically I would um, always advise to pick up a couple of Talinas first um, but because my Talinas is already at 12 stars I'm moving towards getting our Dina up to that 12 stars as well um, which is why I've picked up a copy of her here but uh, still a useful unit uh, because of the deviant synergy uh, and also because of the um, enchanters synergy as well uh, allowing you to pass through certain levels of the Lost City. Uh, as you can see, you need three enchanters, and she is a good enchanter for that particular team. Now, the next one is Gwyn, uh, a very essential unit, so early to mid game. He does fall off a bit later on um, for me personally, but I think that's just because I don't have his runes. Uh, now, I do suggest you do pick up copies of him where you can. So, if you go into the wilderness, click on rift odyssey and we have a look at the rewards that are available uh, for hard specifically uh, so this is the hard clear you will pick up a copy of him here as well as lachesis i would suggest uh, choosing gwyn over lachesis um, within this particular ticket uh, and the reason for that is because um, glorians currently are the most accessible uh, free to play team uh, and you do want to build up that gwyn as much as you possibly can although lachesis is still um, a very good choice now, um, you can also go into your Merchant's Guild. Um, and if we go into, he's not in the Guild shop. Uh, he is available within the Oracle shop. So you can go down here and pick up a copy um, if you so chose to. But I would suggest picking up uh, copies of these other D&D heroes first. Um, just prioritize uh, the units at the very top with the monthly limits rather than uh, rather than that now I don't believe he's available um, anywhere else in any other shops uh, that I'm aware of uh, he is uh, primarily obtained through the tickets uh, through the rift odyssey because he is a valuable part of a team that you can run to clear all of these stages uh, within the rift odyssey um, so yeah a uh, very very powerful unit uh, and very uh, worth picking up now Dullahan, um, he is now required uh, as part of a, a decent Mystifier setup. Um, typically you want to go for Monarchs uh, with this. Uh, and it does heavily rely on if you have a 3 star, Ast uh, sorry, 8 star Astrid um, to get that full 4 Monarch synergy within the Mystifier's team. Um, you can pick up copies of Dullahan through the uh, various different tickets available in Rift Odyssey. I don't think he's available this time round. Um, let me just check. I think this is Victoria and uh, no, that's Gwyn. And this is Victoria and yeah, Dullahan as well. So you can pick up a copy uh, through these selectable tickets um, that you do obtain when beating Abyss Stage 100. Uh, if you are struggling with that, there are videos on the channel walking through uh, those stages as well. Um, now, uh, he is also available uh, within the. Uh, Oracle Temple, so if you go ahead and summon on this banner, you can pick up a copy of him right here. Uh, so as you can see, he is available. Uh, oh, sorry, it's Squid. Uh, he is available within this shop. Uh, sorry, the uh, the summons and the banners on here. Uh, and I would suggest only summoning when there's a rebate on, so you can start picking up coins uh, to pick up a copy of uh, Dullahan in the shop if you do need to. Um, but again, there are other units that you need to prioritize over uh, Dullahan as he will uh, come in time. The only copies that I've picked up of him are through summoning through uh, this particular banner um, and also through the Rift Odyssey tickets as well. Uh, so that's the primary way of how you would pick him up. Uh, Mastema, uh, very similar. Um, he is now really no longer required but does have the Enchanter Synergy which he shares with effectively the best unit in the game, Eudora. Um, and he is on the same team as well, so uh, a good pickup. And you can grab copies of him within the Oracle Summons um, and also within the Oracle Shop as well. Now, I do believe he is available. Um, he is available within the, the Rift uh, Odyssey tickets as well. So if we go to Rift Odyssey, click on the Nightmare Stage 100, 
uh, we go on to here uh, you can pick up a copy of Mastema uh, here if you do need to um, but I would suggest there are other units that you need to prioritize as well now Mastema isn't available in any of the other shops um, that are uh, on the actual game uh, so we'll, we'll move on um, again it's Oracle Temple and Oracle Shop but you will pick up copies of him uh, throughout the game if you are summoning generally now Janna is slightly different um, Janna you can pick up a copy of during the login rewards uh, which I haven't really mentioned um, they just come as, uh, as uh, natural but if you go into your um, benefits here as you can see login for 30 days you can obtain a copy of Janna at 240 um, the other units that you can obtain copies of uh, Lily and Leah, Andina, Halios, Nyx, um, Eudora, Catherine, Serafina, and finally Janna here, uh, Lamia, and then the selectable tickets as well. Uh, when you get to the 30 day, or every 30 days after that point, you'll get a selectable uh, random unit. So um, that is one way to pick up a copy of Janna, but primarily you'll be summoning through this particular banner. And you'll be able to pick up copies of her once a month through this particular shop. I personally have obtained almost all of my copies uh, by purchasing her through this uh, Oracle shop. Uh, and it's... Um, I love this system, uh, but that's how you would pick up copies of Chana. The only uh, I've picked up four copies so far, uh, two of which one was from the login and one was from a random summons on the Oracle uh, Temple, uh, and the other two I have purchased from the shop as well. So uh, that is Janna and where to locate her. Lamia, very much the same, uh, in that you uh, can summon for her uh, through the Oracle Temple on this banner. Uh, and also purchase her through the Oracle shop as well. Um, so I've, I've not purchased any this month uh, because I've already got her up to eight stars. Uh, you can also pick up copies through the, uh, if we go into Wilderness, uh, we click on, in fact, you can't pick up a copy of her through this ticket, I don't believe. No, she's, she's not available um, on this ticket in particular, uh, but you do pick up copies so I was able to get mine up to four stars uh, because I have um, I put well, I selected this. So effectively, you click on uh, submit, and uh, it gives you one of these random heroes. And I got a copy of Lamia from this uh, particular one last time I hit 30 days. Uh, so that's why she's up to four stars for me. Uh, other than that, you can purchase her uh, directly from the Oracle shop uh, here. Um, so again, uh, it's really the only way of picking up a copy of her, uh, besides the login bonuses, which we saw before as well. So the next person on the list is Narissa. So uh, Narissa is available only currently through the um, the Oath Recall here. So if we go into Oath Recall, I can uh, have a summon for Narissa. Uh, if I so chose to, uh, I wouldn't suggest it. Um, I think she does come naturally um, through the various different summoning methods, uh, as well as she will be added to the Oracle shop as well. Um, I do love this unit and I do enjoy um, seeing her pop off. But um, again, I wouldn't go out and I wouldn't summon on this banner because there are other units that you do want to summon on. Specifically, Eudora uh, and potentially... Uh, Audrey as well so uh, that's why you would pick up a copy of Nerissa now if we went into oh, we go into the next one uh, Gloria Gloria has been recently added to the Oracle shop uh, to purchase shards now what I mean by shards if we go into here as you can see I've got 20 shards of Ophelia 20 shards of Leandra and 20 shards of Astrid when those three come to the shop I'll be able to purchase 10 shards for Astrid and pick up uh, my third copy, I'll be able to purchase 30 shards for Leandra, pick up my third copy and purchase 30 shards for Ophelia and I'll pick up my third copy from that as well. Uh, so uh, that is primarily how you would go ahead and get copies uh, of um, the units. The reason that I mentioned that is because Gloria, you need to purchase shards for her. Uh, and The reason that I've been able to obtain three copies um, is because I had a copy. Uh, I also, um, I think I had 40 shards, so I picked up 10 shards and I've picked up another shard, uh, another 50 shards as well uh, for this month. So, um, yeah, very, very impactful unit, um, especially for that, that Glorian's team. 
um, and because she's a striker synergy as well you should prioritize getting to eight stars uh, she's a really powerful unit and very worth picking up from the oracle temple now nyx is the next unit on the list and she is not available um, in any other places that i'm aware of except through this summon banner and also through the oracle shop you can pick up a copy of nyx through the uh, the login bonuses as well uh, and i believe that you'll be able to purchase two copies of her on uh, day 120 login um, if you are to if you want to purchase uh, her you can get a copy of her there as well as through the valkyrie gifts occasionally there will be um, you know uh, you will be able to purchase copies uh, of these units through here as well if you are willing to spend the full amount and go all the way through um, so that's where you can pick up a copy of Nyx. Uh, it's through the Oracle Temple, Oath, Summons, and the Oracle Rebate as well. Now the next unit on the list um, is Astrid, uh, a relatively new unit from Season 2. Um, you can pick up copies of Astrid, typically uh, through what well, you used to be able to. We go into Redeem Shop and we go into Guild Shop. You were able to pick up copies of the units uh, through here. Uh, as you can see, they've, they've changed for this season. So you can now pick up copies of Leandra and Halissa. Um, but previously, you were able to pick up copies of Astrid through the shop as well, which I would highly recommend anybody does, is pick up the new seasonal units through this shop. Um, really, really impactful. Now, I don't believe you can pick up copies of her through the uh, summons yet. Uh, but you can pick up, um, or sorry, you can't pick up copies of her through the shop yet. And I suspect that next season we will see her introduction into this shop. Uh, but for now, the only real way is through the Oath Recall. So if we go into Oath Recall, you can see you can summon for Astrid uh, as well. And if you spend uh, 60,000 uh, diamonds, you will be able to pick up one copy of Astrid if you've not summoned for anything else. But again, there are other units that you need to prioritize with this particular summon. Um, so yeah, uh, that those are the ways of picking up copies of Astrid. Uh, you will be able to pick up copies of her. As you can see, I'm currently waiting on 10 shards and I'll be able to get another copy of her when she does come to the Oracle shop as well. So the next unit on the list will be Leandra. Uh, she is again, one of the uh, new seasonal units and is only available uh, like I showed previously through the guild shop and if we go to here you can pick up a copy of Leandra uh, if you have been collecting over the course of the season uh, you should have a copy of her already uh, through these weekly shards that you can pick up uh, and when she gets added to the oracle shop you'll be able to finish off um, however many shards that you need uh, in order to pick up a copy other than that, you go through the Oath Recall event, uh, and as you can see, uh, she is available in this Oath Recall event on her own specific banner. You can summon for her uh, and pick up a copy that way as well. So the uh, yep, the next unit is Ophelia. Um, as you can see, I've only got her at one star, uh, or sorry, it's uh, six stars, uh, but you can pick up copies, or you used to be able to pick up copies, within the season um, through the various different synergy summons. So we click on here, as you can see, I have picked up copies of Nerissa for this season, but this is where you would obtain copies of Ophelia for the previous seasons, is just making sure you hit that 300 summons uh, every single time. Uh, and it is, it is tough to get that, but eventually you will pick up copies of her that way. Um, so, uh, that is Orphila. She's not available in the Oracle Temple as of yet, uh, but she will be available through Oath Recall. Um, if you summon on this banner as well, you'll be able to pick up a copy of her. Uh, and the final uh, unit uh, that we have on here is Ariana, recently added to the uh, Oracle shop and a very powerful addition to that shop. Uh, and specifically for her teams as well. As you can see, I've only got her at one, um, oh sorry, six stars. So uh, still a bit of work needed to be done on her before she becomes a viable unit. However, um, she is available through the Oracle Temple and Oracle Shop here and not available anywhere else in the game. As you can see, uh, I've picked up my monthly limit of her already. And I'll be able to get another copy of her in 13 days as well. So um, a good unit to pick up. But that is the uh, full, um, almost full, sorry, 
go into archives, go into Deviant. There is Lysandra, who is the same as um, uh, the same as Ariana, able to pick up a copy of her through the Oracle Temple. Um, now, when you pick up a copy of uh, Lysandra, you can also, uh, currently as it stands, go into your summon pack and pick up a copy of her there. Um, you do need to purchase all of these, so I think it's a total of uh, 60, 75, 105 pounds you'd need to spend in order to pick up a copy of her. You do get the rest of the tickets as well as uh, these uh, chaotic crystal boxes as well and some bronze coins, um, you know, some, some fodder. Uh, but that is where you can pick up a copy of her um, if you did want to spend that kind of money. Uh, and that's it for me. Uh, I'm going to round out the video there. If you think I've missed anything, um, then please do let me know. If you can like and subscribe, it'd be appreciated. Thanks for watching. You have a good day.